Sunderland deal with the contract early and don't wait till the last possible minute? What tomfoolery is this? Sunderland AFC is delighted to announce that Elliot Embleton has signed a new long-term contract at the Stadium of Light. The 22-year-old has put pen to paper on a new three-and-a-half-year deal, extending his time on Wearside until summer 2025. Embleton has scored two goals and provided three assists during the 21-22 campaign, producing several standout performances for Lee Johnson's side after returning from an impressive loan spell at Blackpool. Upon extending his stay, Embleton said, I'm buzzing to sign a new deal with the club. It's a very proud moment for me and my family, and hopefully I can keep showing the supporters what I can do on the pitch. I've been here a long time, so signing this contract is special, and now I'm really looking forward to pushing on. Head coach Lee Johnson added, We are delighted that Embleton has committed his future to the club. He is a player with top technique with both feet, which is quite unusual, and he's on his way to becoming the player we know he can be. For him, there's a lot of hard work to come, but aligned with the football club, there's a lot of potential and we are looking forward to the future with him. An academy graduate, Embleton joined the club aged 8 and after progressing through the ranks at the Academy of Light, he made his senior debut in December 2017 against Wolverhampton Wanderers. The Durham-born midfielder featured for Grimsby Town during the 18-19 season and he has also been capped by England under 17, 18, 19 and 20 level. After taking centre stage during Blackpool's successful playoff campaign earlier this year, scoring in the semi-final and providing an assist in the Changerines Wembley Stadium win, the midfielder picked up the Sky Bet League One Goal of the Month award for August following his unforgettable strike against Wickham Wanderers. So as the statement says, as you can clearly see, in my attempt to narrate the statement, um, Elliot Embleton has, of course, signed a new three-and-a-half-year contract. So basically, after this season, he's got another three years on his contract, and it actually wouldn't surprise me if there's um, an option to extend the contract within that. So what I'm hoping for is that this is going to be a shift in direction, where beforehand, some have usually waited frustratingly quite a long time to try and get contracts sorted. And I understand players have got to consider their own future, but sometimes I think the club have been very, very not been very proactive to try and get contracts sorted. Obviously, as we know, Embleton, I think, signed a new one-year extension before going out on loan to Blackpool second half of last season. And of course, it meant that would have meant the contract ran out this season. And it's good to see that we've actually secured ourselves. And in the event Embleton does get sold, would hopefully get more of a hefty profit for him. And that's the type of direction that we're going to have to be going down. Um, Obviously, I know a lot of people were disgruntled when Embleton went out on loan to Blackpool last year, but the fact is he wasn't getting near the first team, rightly or wrongly, that's your own opinion, but he wasn't getting anywhere near the first team. I personally, before seeing him this season, hadn't been overly convinced with him, I hadn't seen, but obviously I'd only seen a couple of games, so I can only judge on what I'd seen there. But that loan at Blackpool turned out to do him the world of good, and hopefully he'll have back-to-back -back promotions on his CV at the end of the season. Um, but either way, it's good to see the club trying to deal with it. It's good to see that the club will have maybe release clauses, sell-on clauses. Uh, maybe, I don't know, that'll come if we do end up selling him. But hopefully he's a player that rises with us through the leagues. But we'll wait and end up seeing, won't we? And obviously, so far this season, he's been a really, really good um, addition. He's got a good couple of assists. He's called a couple of goals. Um, last couple of games, he's been a bit iffy. But, you know, obviously you're going to get dips here and there. Uh, so far, he's looked pretty promising. And I'm so happy that the club didn't take any offers from Blackpool, as we shouldn't have done. We should have, you know, if we could see that he could do it in this at this level with potential to do better, no, he should be doing it with us, not with somebody else. So that's good to see that that's sorted. Now, obviously, the next big stage for me is to try and get Dan Neal's contract sorted. I think his deal runs out the end of next season. I don't know why I've got that in my head. So if I'm wrong, again, please correct me below in the comments. And remember to like, subscribe, like and subscribe if you wish to. Um, like I said, hopefully Daniel's contract gets sorted next, but we'll see in the near future what happens with that. Take care, guys. Love yous and leave yous. And the next video you'll probably see from me, unless anything happens in the intervening days, is Saturday at Gillingham. So, take care, stay safe, love yous all lots, and how are the lads?